Hi Aquarius. Okay, this is your weekly reading for the 22nd through the 28th. Thank everyone for all the love and the support. I really do appreciate it, Cake Aquarius. I hope everyone's doing well too. Let's see. Let's get messages for Aquarius. All right. We have status quo. Cycle. The sacred temple. And we have fear. Oh, Aquarius. Give me a second. Okay. okay. I feel like in a past, like you've coming out this cycle where everything was the same. It's just like you got tired of it. Maybe you shifted this side, this status quo and reverse yourself. Just decided to break free from something that didn't seem like it was growing or going anywhere. But now it's like you still have questions about it. You're trying to find the answer, but it's still quite unclear with this, um, the sacred temple in reverse. And moving into the future, you may be fearful to for the change that you initiated or this could be a change that was initiated outside of your control also in the past but whatever it is it's like something that requires you to do something in a different way but you don't quite have the answer to it it makes you fearful of the future or what's possible to come let's get some more cards aquarius or to take a chance this could be in a relationship work Let's see what this is about. I already shuffled all the decks. Two cards for Aquarius, please, Divine. Okay. So that's one. We have communication, negotiate, negotiation. This is the birds, the seven of pentacles also, okay? So um, flighty, chatter, debate, discuss, nervous, ADHD call text contact. Okay. So maybe you were waiting for someone um, to contact you and it never happened. And uh, you kind of, it's like you wanted to maybe clear up the air with someone, but that it, it never came in. So it's a lot, or it's just, it's, it's something that it's just like you, um, you don't really know what's going on, but now you have the fool here. Okay. And this is Uranus energy ruler of enlightenment. Free spirit, opportunity, embracing the unknown, jumping into jumping in and doing it. Originality, individual, technology, innovation, rebel without a cause. It's like even though uh, that's where the fear is coming in, like you don't even have the answers for this new start, even though you want it because you're tired of the way things have been going. The lack of communication are just like it, these two cars are the same, like no matter what happened, even if you guys are communicating, it doesn't seem to be going nowhere or your your questions are not really getting answered. So it's like now you have to just move on without those answers and it's creating some type of fear. OK, and this could definitely be in the love department and a message that you want to want to come in. OK. What's at the bottom of this deck? Yeah, you got the loving woman in reverse. So somebody is maybe you feel like just like you've been dismissed in a sense with a uh, loving woman in reverse like no matter what uh how you feel or how you communicate nothing seems to ever change in um a relationship that's what it's mostly looking like i'm just getting it as a relationship now so if it's something else just take it as it is okay just resonate it with that maybe you're doing a lot of work for a business and realize and feel like no matter um I'm not getting that because of this card. Well, you could be putting a, investing a lot in a business if I cancel everything and look at the seven of pentacles, but it's like some type of answer you need. Okay. But the fool is there overall energy. You have the five of cups. So you are kind of sad, disappointed with how everything is going. <clears throat> Star card, first card out. The tower. 
Aw, Aquarius. Um, the chariot and the two of swords. The star is being clarified by the Hierophant. The Ace of Cups with the Tower. The Four of Swords with the uh, Three of Swords. The Empress. And the King of Cups. Six of uh, Swords. If it's not your energy, Aquarius, this could possibly be the person's energy that you're connecting with. But I'm taking this more as your energy, okay? So you are moving to a better place and maybe there may be an opportunity there. But yeah, it seems like... Um, it's like you wanted this new beginning, like this new, you just wanted to feel fulfilled emotionally, okay? But nothing was changing, so it had to end here with the tower and the status quo, okay? And it's like, uh, maybe you tried to communicate the change or just tried to initiate it in some type of way, but it never seemed to happen. And it's like you've been trying, you've been trying to get probably divine guidance or answers and feel really blocked about, um, why things haven't been happening, even trying to figure out what is the lesson behind all this. And it's just like, no matter what, you cannot figure out the answer with this, but you still, it's like, maybe you've been told to take that leap, take, <laughs> take that leap. I'm laughing, but I know how frustrating it could be. You'd be like, what leap? I don't even know <laughs> what leap I want to take. So that's like, that's how this feels to me. Like, it's like you looking for the answers on how to move forward and have this new beginning, but um, it's it's not really coming. It's not really there. Like the op you don't see the opportunity there or whatever. Okay, but and that's what's creating this fear. But um, you could be the thing about it, Aquarius, is that maybe what happened in the past is the fear because you have the fool here there's a you do have a new opportunity but heartbreak and you you healing from it is what's causing the fear you don't want to like make moves you don't want to uh choose a direction to go like you it's hard for you to see this opportunity because of things that happened to you in the past okay and that's why um this healing that's why this healing is coming in in the future so you can see the picture clearly once you see this picture clearly then you'll be like oh okay, why? I know how to move forward. Now I see how I can grow this. Okay. So there is whole light at the end of this tunnel <clears throat> and it, it just start with healing. Okay. Once you heal for like, like once the healing sets in and you are not thinking about like all the ways it can be go wrong here, then you get into the chariot and the empress where you kind of believe in yourself, make decisions that's going to be successful, make abundant, whatever this is abundant. Even if this is a relationship, maybe you guys communicate in a whole different style, but whatever it is, is successful. And you guys are able, you are able more than anything to grow from this whole situation. Okay. And you have the potential to like, will feel like a blocked a lot, especially emotions, like for you to open up and, and not have that fear uh, blocking you off from uh, the love you want. Like say if you're single and a relationship didn't work out, but you do want to move forward and have this like a beautiful relationship. Now you want someone that's real, someone that's solid, someone that can match you at where you're at, but you kind of blocked. And that's probably what's causing the disappointment, which comes from the past. So even if a new love was to come in with this fool, you wouldn't be receptive. You wouldn't be open to it because you still healing. Okay. And that's what the divine is trying to get you to see if that's your story. Like, well, you need to heal in order to move forward and have this beautiful relationship that you want or if this is a career like you you scared to make choices because you don't want to fail and that's because of things that you went through which is understandable we have to heal but once we heal we able to make choice choices like this is major right here so so the reason this has happened so you can shift everything in a major way you're gonna know these problems even though they feel big
big now going into the future. This but like this healing that you finna come into is gonna set you up to, for for victory, success. You're gonna be more determined, believe in yourself a lot more and your ability to create. And it's gonna block off those emotions where when it comes to a relationship, where you more open to a relationship, you more open to expressing yourself emotionally. You're not closed off to other people or closed off to certain emotions trying to protect yourself from being hurt again, okay? <clears throat> and even if this is a relationship that you in, it could be the same. Like maybe you guys having a hard time communicating. Well, it's because there still needs to be some healing in order for you guys to communicate in a productive way. And maybe that's why maybe the divine is keeping you guys separate until you come into like that healing. That way, when you guys do connect, you, you can move forward victorious. There's no need to, to be like in this a this state and trying to heal a relationship. You got to heal yourself first. OK. Look, write it down is your law of attraction. This is what, what you can do to help you move forward. OK. The universe has received your order. OK. <laughs> So whatever it is you want, the universe has heard it. And that's why they bring it in the healing. That's why the healing is coming in. This is a stepping stone to get for victory. OK, so you can get exactly what you want, but write it down and no feel it's yours. OK, and it's done already. Writing brings it into physical form. And then you got high vibes. OK, so I know uh, this card, this is where you going. But it, with this don't stress like try to do whatever you can to heal right now to bring your vibration up to get what exactly what it is you want so i feel like this is telling you that you raising your vibration to where you can uh, feel abundant and believe in yourself and whatever it is you want to create okay surround yourself with positivity so if you are hurting i think i told this to another sign don't in get involved in stuff that's gonna make like Say this is a relationship that hurt you right now. It's probably not the time why you're trying to hear to keep looking at stuff that's going to trigger that pain. Like just like to where you already feeling bad. Now you feel worse and worse and worse. Like try to find stuff to uplift you or bring you out of that. Like the pain, even if it's like your Aquarius knowledge or unique ways, however you heal best, try to do that. I mean, I know you want to know the truth, but it's still like try to do stuff that's going to pull you out of it. Okay. Connect with yourself and source. And then it says, uh, I don't know that word frequencies, your tribe. So look at it. could be people that's like minded like you that can maybe come in and offer suggestions or stuff like that. But where you trying to get to and what you want, it requires like that you in a better place, like you believe in yourself more. OK, Aquarius. You do have perspective under here, too. So you will gain, gain the clarity that you need, but it, I think it comes as, as you heal. Okay. And this is what I was talking about. Angel of diet and nutrition, pay attention to what you eat and drink. You intuitively know what's good for you, but I feel like that's the saying what you digest, pay attention to what you're digesting so you can move into victory and success. And sometimes this type of stuff seems cheesy and I'm not going to say you're going to be a hundred percent positive because it's, it's impossible, but just pay attention to what you digesting. That's keeping you in this state of like this state right here. So you can move out of it. And then you have goddess of awakening that there's a wonder this is a wondrous time for exploration, romance and creativity. So it's a time for you to uplift yourself and, and vibe higher. OK, Aquarius, this is what I have for you. I hope it helps. Bye.